Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing tourist visa extensions for coronavirus. And this is kind of a catch-all topic. I know I've been talking about coronavirus and stranded tourists a lot on this channel. I know I've kind of, to some extent, been rehashing this material, but it's nuanced. And candidly, this will probably be the last one I get into on this stuff, because, well, directly on tourist visa extensions. There's, there's gonna be some other videos coming out here shortly that's gonna deal with things in a coronavirus context, but strictly tourists, this is probably the last major one of these videos I'm gonna do for a little bit until we see further information. If you, and I'm gonna preface this video by saying this, if you have questions, if your situation does not clearly fall into the information that's coming out from Thai authorities regarding who's gonna be granted automatic extension status, who has already been granted automatic extension status or the protocols associated therewith, if it doesn't clearly fall in to what's already been announced, probably not a terrible idea to get some legal counsel, some professional legal assistance from folks that deal with Thai visa matters. Because if you don't fully understand where things sit, you can have a real problem. There's an old, there's an old saying, it's, it's, I believe, been attributed to Amarillo Slim, the poker player, and I personally have had some history with poker my, myself, he once said, if you can't spot the sucker sitting around the table, you are the sucker. And I'm not saying that has anything to do directly with Thai immigration in that they're trying to do something adverse to your position, but if you can't fully discern where you stand, and if you don't easily understand exactly what your situation is with Thai immigration right now, and I do understand this is frustrating because Policy is coming out fast, it's evolving quickly. They're dealing with coronavirus, they're dealing with various nuances to the immigration implications of coronavirus affected people. And it's not perfect, let's be clear. This, this is being done in a very ad hoc manner. I think everybody's doing the best that they can. But the thing to keep in mind as a viewer, if you don't fully understand where you, where you sit, what your posture is with respect to your immigration status moving forward. It's probably not a terrible idea to get some counsel, get some assistance, and fully understand where you sit because when the dust settles on this thing, there could be real problems for those who have overstayed their visa, especially those who have overstayed their visa and want to come back to Thailand. There could be real problems for those who presume that they could have done a border run. There could be real problems for folks who've lived here a number of years and have dealt with something adverse to them, or have ended up in a situation adverse to themselves with respect to, for example, a non-immigrant visa. And even tourists, it could be a situation that could lead to, probably not prolonged, but at least some level of detention while they deal with processing you out of the system. So again, if you're in lawful status now and you don't fully understand where you fall within this, not a terrible idea to go ahead and get legal counsel. Now, Proceeding further, let's, let's go through the analysis of where things sit. We've already done videos on the notion of an automatic visa extension associated with coronavirus. And going back about a week or 10 days from the making of this video on April 6, 2020, we had reported via various news sources that officials, spokesmen from the Thai government had noted that the cabinet had resolved to provide some sort of relief for tourists stranded in Thailand with respect to their immigration status. So that, that was already resolved some time ago. Now, the practical or on the ground implications of that remain to be seen up until roughly about the time I'm making this video. And in a recent article from the Bangkok Post, that's bangkokpost.com, that article is titled, Immigration Bureau Pursues Visa Relief for Foreigners. And it quotes directly from the head of immigration. So it's one of the reasons I really like this video. I've been using it, or excuse me, I like this article. I've been using it as a kind of touchstone to discuss this topic is because it's coming from the source, the head of Thai immigration. So quoting directly from this article, the foreigners are now divided into three groups. And I'm going to skip ahead. 
Foreign tourists who are unable to depart Thailand due to the crisis. That's the second group. Quoting further, for foreign tourists in the second group who reported immigration authorities for a 30-day extension after their visas expired on March 26th or thereafter, their visas will be automatically renewed every 30 days until the pandemic subsides, said Police General, Lieutenant General Sompong. So that's Sompong Qingduang, that's the head of Thai immigration. Now, the in a prior set of videos we did on this, we noted that the cabinet had resolved that those who had entered Thailand March 1st or after in tourist visa status, and presumably that's also visa on arrival status as well as 30-day exemption status, they had resolved that those folks needed to be dealt with. They needed to figure out a way in which to provide them with status mostly because they're stranded due to coronavirus. They needed to, to deal with extending them. This appears to me to be the implementation of that overarching policy. So it appears to me that those who entered on or after the 1st of March now need to go get an extension, and then, and then thereafter they'll just be rolled over automatically every 30 days until this crisis abates. That's how it looks to me as of the time of making this video. The, now, further, and this is important too, other foreigners who are now in Thailand and affected by the COVID-19 crisis but aren't covered in the above three categories, and two of those categories were pretty irrelevant to stranded tourists. One was permanent residents, which I'll get into in another video in this series, and another, and another one was migrant workers basically so just one category here we're talking about which is stranded tourists but aren't covered in the above three categories are advised to adhere to the usual laws where does that leave folks well it looks like if you came in before march the first you got to deal with the usual immigration system if you came in even if I think if you came in under anything other than tourist visa status, so if you're not a tourist, like a non-immigrant visa holder, you gotta deal with everything as normal. So the thing to take away from this video, if you don't understand where, th where you stand with respect to this, this new regime, if you will, probably not a bad idea to contact a legal professional and get some advice, get an opinion on where this thing stands for you in order to maintain lawful status in order to forestall negative consequences for you down the road.